We we experience we experience a lot of crazy drivers out here, boy. I tell you. And well, you're fucking foreigners, man. They're fucking foreigners. Well, I, I don't know if they're foreigners or not, but I have came across a few a few foreigners. Hey, this motherfucker, what are you doing? I came across a few foreigners that that literally asked me to the the ask the shipper and receiver questions. They use their uh, translators, like you know, the, through the phones and the Google Translate and stuff like that. And I'd be like, yeah. I'd be like, wait, don't you have to know the English language in order to drive here in the States? Yeah. Man, that's crazy. Breaking overnight, 17th Avenue is back open near the fairgrounds after a semi got stuck under a railroad bridge. Columbus police tell us the semi was too tall and got stuck underneath it around 1130 last night. The driver wasn't hurt and they were able to let enough air out of the truck's tires to pull it out about an hour later. Inter interesting story out of Columbus, Ohio. That's where we're heading to today. We're heading to Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> Columbus, Ohio, where a semi truck driver gets trailer stuck up under Columbus Bridge overpass. Now, before we get into this story, which is kind of crazy in a sense, I've been driving for a long time, long enough to know that if I come up against some type of bridge that has a clearance lower than the truck that tells me as an experienced driver not to try to go up under it right 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 don't you learn that in school right when you go and get your cdl they they teach you bridge clearances they show you films yep they yeah. show you films they sure do yeah and they also tell you that in the in the cdl permit book that you can pick up at any dmv that also tells you of the bridge clearances as well, right? Now, another good book that'll tell you about bridge clearances is the Rand McNally Rally Atlas. McNally. <laughs> That's right, Rally McNally. That tells you about bridge clearances as well. Now, drivers, 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 my semi-drivers, don't you guys know that your truck is 13 sits? Now, I know some of your companies put 13 sits somewhere on your truck. I know some experienced drivers like myself already know that the truck height is 13 sits. Anything below that, your truck is not going to fit. Now I know, I know, I know a lot of these bridge clearances that says 13.4, 13.5, some of them may not be the scale to size. Like if you, if you go like directly in the middle of, 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 a, of a low clearance bridge that you might be able to fit up under, I know some of you guys tried that. But when a literal bridge tells you that it is 12 foot four up from 11 foot eight inches since 2020, that should tell you common sense that a 13 six truck is not going to fit up under there, right? Let's jump into the story, shall we? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. In Durham, North Columbus, there is a famous railroad overpass that is called the Can Opener Bridge. I wonder why it's called that. Standing at 12 feet, 4 inches, up from 11 feet, 8 inches since 2020, which was four years ago. It is periodically the site where trucks famously get stuck up under or crash into. The overpass has been crashed into or stuck up under 178 times since 2008. What's your thoughts on that so far? Idiot, freaking idiot, freaking idiot. 178 times since 2008. What could possibly be- hey, oh my goodness, are you serious? That yes. is crazy, some idiots. They are freaking idiots, freaking idiots. 
what can possibly be the reason for a truck to get stuck up under the bridge 178 times since 2008? Well, somebody's using the wrong navigation or they just figure, oh, this is the quickest way to get back on the highway. No, no. Yeah, but if you're a 13 cents truck and you see that the underpass is 12 four shouldn't common sense and experience kick into play and say maybe i should pull over call 50 and have them to direct me back the way i came in so i can go around this bridge that would be the right case for an experienced inexperienced drivers who just get out here trying to make it a living to drive a truck and do Pay attention to the signs and pictures to the darn phones. Yeah, that's what they did. Let's continue. According to Columbus police, a crash occurred at 11.30 p.m. when a semi-truck pulling a Super Eagle trailer. Go, go figure. that part right there got stuck up under the railroad overpass at east 17th near Doral road just west of the ohio exposition center the crash caused the road to close between north 4th street and kimball avenue the man who was not from ohio but from wyoming told police he was able to get up under the bridge earlier in the day wait Ain't no way. Ain't no, ain't way, no boy. way, boy. Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. This bad boy got a sign that clearly says 12 9. How in the hell a 13 6 was able to get up under there earlier in the day? I do not know. Maybe he came around to a different bridge, but it was definitely, it could not be that bridge. I don't know. That's right. It could not be that bridge. But he says he came in earlier in the day. Let's continue. Now, the bridge that he did come in earlier that day stands at 14 feet tall. So he was able to get up under that bridge. That bridge, yes. Not, not the bridge that he got stuck up under. No. But the bridge that I believe he actually came up under and just got routed a different way going out was 14 feet. So he continued to say that he was leaving town on East 17th and thought the overpass was the same height. But the bridge that he was canned opener by stands at 12 feet, 9 inches and there's a sign that clearly states that. So either he was not paying attention or just basically didn't give up. No one was injured. No one was injured during the crash. Damn, need some water. No one was injured during the crash. And about an hour after the trailer was wedged underneath the underpass or overpass, the driver let out the air of all 18 wheels of the truck and was able to pull the truck and trailer from under the bridge. My God, how long did that take? How, how long did that take to let out the air of all 18 tires? Oh my God. He let out all, all the air. Well, I, I guess in order to get from up under there anyway, that's what the what the tow trucks was going to do anyway right they they was going to let the air out of the or or disc well yeah that would probably be one way disconnecting the the trailer and pull the the the, the tractor out and then let the air out of the out of the trailer tandems and and pull the trailer out but but again this this have to be a driver inexperience working for controversial company super eagle they bring their drivers in at about four months of experience but let me ask you this before we get on up out of here driver we don't know if it was if the driver was pulling or driving for one of said companies up under super eagle's banner 
but if it was the case and this would be alleged if he was driving for said company what all that damage and all that stuff would be responsible to the driver that he will probably have to pay expenses for getting that that bridge fixed and everything and 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 replacing the trailer replacing the truck and stuff like that being that he is quote unquote a lease op yep that's 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 his check, though. Yep. What do, you, what do you suppose that driver done af, after all of that? Is is he going to continue to work or pull for Super Eagle, or is he just going to go in and try to get another job? Well, that's on his PSA right now. That's on his PSA right now. He can't get a job here. Drivers, it is hard to get these trucking jobs especially or if you're brand new and you you do something catastrophic as can open a trailer up under a bridge that you're not supposed to go up under but once you put that on your resume and company seat that's going to be running the weird flags that the company is not going to bring you on so i guess it would be safe to say that hopefully you'll get lucky enough that you'll get another company but one of the major carrier companies, I I don't think you'll be able to get your foot in the door. So just know that if you see any bridge clearance, it is best to pay attention to all these, everything, everything around you when driving the truck is best to pay attention, especially to these bridge clearances, because it can say 12 9 or 13 5 or 13 4 and you you sit there and be like i can get up under it and then you actually get stuck just know that you will get a ticket of course because you you went up under a bridge that you're not supposed to go up under in actuality it probably might be on the road that you might not even supposed to be on because at the beginning of the road, there is a sign that usually tells you that the upcoming bridge is a low clearance. In some cases, not all, not all. Sometimes you get you get up on the bridge and you'll see the sign above the bridge. But if you see a sign, like if you turn in or, or if you come up to it and it says bridge clearance, that pretty much should tell you not to go down that way. There are some companies, there are some companies that are right down the road just before that bridge clearance. You have to go in. That throws drivers off because they see that sign at the beginning and they're like, oh no, how would we get in there? You're exactly right. That happened to me in PA. I actually had to like literally take about a half an hour i ain't gonna i'm not capping it, it was a half an hour for me to pull up the sky view and look at the total area because a lot of the time these companies that you got to go into a lot of the drivers do put what do you call it they they do reviews on these companies that they go into and luckily for me the one place that i was going into I looked at the reviews and the driver did say like, hey, if you come, if you try to come in from the other side, don't because the bridge clearance down there is whatever, whatever. So I had to turn around and figure out how to come into this place of business without going that way. So when you go in, when I went into that business, the dude was like, oh yeah, trucks go through there all the time. No, no no and like i said I, I i mess with technology i i i got google earth i love google earth i'm able to i'm able to do a street view overview i was able to actually pull that sign up and get a close up on the sign that actually said 13 I, it wasn't 13 cents i think it was 13 one and the guy was like yeah yeah i've seen trucks get up under there all the time like no no but if you guys do get stuck in a situation, then it's always best to call the police or 911 and let them know, hey, I'm over here at this bridge clearance. I'm not able to get up under it. Well, you're going to need them to hold traffic so you can at least back out of that situation. So, but yeah, Super Eagle.